think that the island boys are shitty people overall? Yeah. Yeah, now I like now I got something my name starting to blow up. You know, I made a blog for like almost two weeks straight. They were talking to him on TikTok. They're like, oh, tell Red, tell Jar again his flowers and stuff. But yeah. they're just doing that because they, they know I'm they like, know I'm going to be a threat to them on TikTok once I know how to master it. Really? Yeah. I mean, they've but, gotten about as much publicity over the last year or two as you can imagine, but it's almost exclusively bad stuff, right? Yeah, since they did that weird stuff. Well, yeah, oh, that's all anybody wants to talk about now is them and making they, out with each other. Their clout is dying out little by little. Oh, it was already so bad, but then they, like, that that's the crazy shit about them is that they had this last-ditch effort blast of attempt to get viral content by making out with each other, and it's just like... The number one thing that nobody could imagine doing is making out with their brother. Oh, yeah. I lost respect for him. I gave them their flowers. So I'm like, yo, you're the only ones that actually really blew up off this IG stuff from the whole community of, you know, everybody. You know, but they did. You know, I can't hate on that. They did blow up. And they made money. But they're not doing the right stuff with it. That's my honest opinion on that. Oh, yeah. To say the least. Those dudes are fucked. Yeah. They're yeah. living for the moment, not for the long run. I don't even really know what to say about them because it's not like they really had much potential in the first place, but they just totally mismanaged whatever potential they did have. But I guess you can't really blame them because, honestly, they're basically retarded. Yeah. That's 100. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you could take any random dude off the street, and I guarantee they're a genius compared to those dudes like those dudes are fraud. No, no, they lost their street respect they can't go out nowhere like i live in an i live in the hood in st petersburg you know south side st pete you know like no way i go out anywhere people aren't trying to see the island boys sue them see people aren't trying to see them hmm, about that they're, they're they're not popular around nah, town nobody wants to see them they get harassed anywhere they go too bad. How, uh, just to throw it back earlier, how, how long did you actually sell drugs for? How serious did you get with that shit? Uh, started in my teens, sold a lot of, like, regs, and then in my earlier 20s, I sold a lot of, like, um, Percocets, lean, and weed and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Middleman for my homeboy. He received packs from Cali to Florida, I mean, to Miami. Do you have to leave that alone at a certain point? Stop doing it? Yeah. Yeah, once I lost my crib, because I got kicked out once I caught, cause I got, I caught domestic violence against my girl, my ex fiance because uh, she said I beat her up. But, what was her name, Tina? Uh, Jessica. Oh, so this is earlier? There was a, the, the more recent girlfriend was Tina, right? Oh, no, no, y'all, y'all talking about, I think y'all talking about a girl, Tiny. There you go, Tiny, yeah. Yeah, she, you talking about a girl kind of look like Celine Paul. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. You ever fuck Celine Paul? Would I or did you? No, I never met her. Damn, that would be crazy. <laughs> you should totally fuck Selena Powell. I set it up. You ever think about doing porn? That's what Baby Alien my, did with his clout. My girl would kill me, but yeah, I'll probably. You I, could just I leave her. About it. Yeah, I'll yeah, leave your girl. <laughs> what kind of like? You, you think you could make it in the porn industry? For sure. Damn, you got any videos on your phone? <laughs> nah, I, I used, gotta, I gotta see how you put it down. I used to my own Pornhub account, but Damn. I deleted it. Okay, because I was talking to Baby Alien the other day, and like as soon as he blew up, Baby Funny, boom, starts the OnlyFans, he's banging chicks in the fan bus. Yeah, so he's from Miami too. I think he's from Puerto Rico, and they moved to Florida. But he's he told me cool. Yeah, like just the fact that. He got popping and was just like, fuck it, I'm going to start an OnlyFans, which is like kind of mind-blowing to me. I'm like, holy shit, like... Start putting it down. He's like a little guy, you know, he's just a little little dude. He's out here banging. I watched, I watched him bang two chicks in that van. <laughs> oh, shit. It was fucked. Um, okay, so, yeah, well, like once you start getting your, your clout up from the whole Boon Gang thing or whatever, like what do you start doing with it? Like, what, like... What, what kind of moves did you kind of try to make around that time to like use your newfound clout? I really couldn't do nothing with it because I was fighting the gun charge case. I was going back from Tampa to Miami and then I finally hopped on probation on February 15 of 2018. I got out February 15, 2020. 
Then I got recon um contact with Andrew from Channel Five because that's my boy. Right, because he just, interviewed you back in the day, right? He interviewed me like three, four times. I actually came out his documentary, mm. um, This Place Rules. I was in that. Right. And I was just slowly working little gigs here, little gigs there, and I just stayed a local like legend, Southside St. Pete in the hood. That's it. And I got addicted to drinking and let my career just fall off. Lost my manager. Kind of gave up on life, gave up on myself, gave up on a lot of things because I left by myself. I just had my pets, you know. My dog just died like a year ago. So now I'm just like, I was rebuilding myself even before this whole GTA thing happened. But this GTA thing happened, I guess it was like a hood lotto win for me. You know, it's a blessing in the sky, you know. So I'm going to take advantage of everything. Now I'm able to travel and have my dogs. Definitely. I moved out of a shitty house with no running water, you know, really bad trap house, living in a beautiful house now. So this learning how to love myself again, bring myself out there. Fell in love with Cali. Just came back last month from Big Bear. I love Big Bear. Hope to live there one day. Mm. 